Hey YouTube, Neurosport here. Welcome to the Hangout. Today I'm going to do a little bit of welding. Um, been a while. You know how it is. Practice, practice, practice. So, uh, without further ado, the Lincoln and I are going to go to work. This is more of a camera exercise than what it is a uh, welding exercise. I had to uh, I had an old mask laying around and I took the lens out of it and got my handy dandy uh, glass cutter and cut a hunk off of the off the lens. And then I took masking tape and taped it to the end of my camera. Uh, so the camera is looking through a welding lens at the at this time. Seems to uh, seems to have turned out pretty good, maybe just a hair dark. I think maybe uh, the next time at the, I'm at the welding store, I'll try to uh, try to get one that's just a little lighter. Or I'd even thought about going to Harbor Freight and picking up one of their auto darkening masks. I think they only run like thirty-five dollars, so that'd be uh, that'd be worth experimenting with. I'm simply running bead after bead. The idea is to uh, have the bead look uniform and uh, not hourglass or humpy or anything like that. Uh, I'm having a little problem with that so far. Uh, if you notice, the, the workpiece is kind of jittering around. So that means that I violated rule number one in welding, which is if you want it to stay still, clamp it. Well, guess what I didn't do? All in all, they're not looking too bad. I'm using a 2% lanthanated uh, electrode I believe it's 40,000 in size that I'm welding on it's either 45 or 50 thousandths uh, aluminum and my welding rod is 1 16th the welder set at 60 amps at full pedal <coughs> right now I'm uh, I'm nowhere near full pedal. I'm guessing maybe I'm at uh, at about 30 amps, maybe maybe 40. Um, a good good rule of thumb is one amp per 1,000. So if you're welding something that's a quarter inch, you need 250 amps to do it properly. That's in a single pass. work is really moving around it's messing me up anytime you see the torch pop or spit something something bad has happened uh, most likely you dip the tungsten on the metal or ran into it with a welding rod um, for all practical purposes should you do that you should stop welding and uh, regrind your tungsten to get the uh, contamination off. Being this is just a practice and I'm not uh, worried about weld integrity. Um, I'm just going to mush on through. A real quick tour of my welding equipment. This is my Precision TIG 185. It's by far my favorite machine. There's a shot of my Hypertherm Plasma Cutter and my Hobart Handler. It's 175 amp, 220 volt. And there's the Iron Man Hobart. 
Uh, my go-to machine is probably that little uh, 175 amp welder. Here you can see my lovely TIG welds. Um, they're not beautiful, but they're not bad. If they were holding something together on one of my airplanes, I wouldn't have a, have a fear in the world of flying with it. Well, we're coming to the end of this video. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. I'll come back again soon.